It's six o'clock in the morning and the start of another hectic day for local business owner Michelangelo. Like God, you know, he, he said to me, you know, oh, hang on a second, look, is he in, him now on the phone? Hello? Oh, hello, God. Oh, you alright? How's things up there? Oh, good, good. What's that? You need me to spread Edam all around the world like it's, like it's on toast? Oh, alright. You yeah, will do, God. Cheers. God, God there, big man himself. So. Once considered the original Renaissance man, with skills ranging from painting and sculpture to poetry and architecture, the once proclaimed divine artist now owns an Edam cheese business in North London. Yeah, you know, life life is a bit different, you know, but I, I, I've lived I've lived the rock star life. I, I've been there, I've done it, I've you know, I've got the role. You know, it's it's time for a change. Besides, you know, cheese has, has always been my, my real passion. Michelangelo's dramatic change of career path stems from a series of altercations with another popular Renaissance figure, who, for legal reasons, can't be named. No, I did not nick his ideas. Let's just make that clear. In fact, I gave the guy most of his ideas. Many believe the conflict stemmed from some confusion over a particular female model. No, he stole Mona off me. She was booked in with me and I painted a beautiful portrait of her, but for some reason she wasn't happy with it. And then he came in, the bastard, and he stole her. So he goes on to draw, you know, wishy-washy, you know, a picture that looks actually like him and not her, and boom, he's a mega star. I also tell the guy about the, uh, the flying thing. Did you really? Yeah, but I, I sent him a, a dead bird in the post once, which is you know, where he got the idea from, so technically, it's, it's my idea as well. Michelangelo's obsession with the work of his rival led to a substantial decline in his own. He missed deadlines, left jobs half done, and began sending the Pope hate mail. Yeah, you know, that Pope and, the, and that other guy, they made a deal, I know they did. They made a deal to get me out of Rome, they were jealous. Definitely jealous. Michelangelo then fled to England, where he turned his back on the arts and flitted from job to job. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I worked in the call centre for a while. I was uh, a shopping assistant at Primark. And um, I also did a, did a stint at Greg's. It was at Greg's where Michelangelo realised his true passion for catering, namely cheese production. You know, so I, um, so I left and I started my own business, Michelangelo's Cheeses. And our slogan is, he damn well knows his cheese. Do you get it? Because he damn and does. Is that, is that Tesco's cheese? No, 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 no it's not, not Tesco's cheese. Um, it's, uh, it's from my, my, own, my own factory. 
Uh, so no, no need to. Let's go. Let's go. So Michael, um, where are we off to now? Uh, we are just uh, on the way to the um, the market where I where I sell my 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 cheese and my goods. Um, it's uh, it's not not too long drive, so you know, it's it's perfect perfect for me. Um, you know, how do you sort of intend to, to go about selling your cheese today? Well, um, I usually I usually have a big stall, you know. I usually have you know, you know loads of people around it, and you know that I'm quite well known around the area. But um, today I I do not have my stool. Um, they they take it away from me uh, because um, because I, I sell too too much of the cheese, and everyone everyone around gets a bit angry. So today today I'm just going to use my um, my selling technique and. Uh, Hopefully, um, do some do some good business. started too well for Michael and his cheese. As the day goes on, Michael's luck begins to change. Did you give him that for free? No, 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 no. He, I can see, I can see how you would think that, but I, I um, he, he paid me, he paid me last week, so I, I um. How much are you charging for that piece of edam he paid you last week? For? I, I don't, I don't think that's in, that's important. And some, some of our reporters told me that you know, you were actually seen stealing a bun, a piece of bread from a stool. No, no, that is. That is absolute lies. I turn the camera off. I don't want any part of this. Despite Michael's antics last week at the farmers market, he continues to live his life as per usual. Maybe one day he will return to his artistic Renaissance glory days, but that is only down to him. Although for the time being, he seems pretty content with selling cheese. Thank you. 